legend. Wait for it, Daryl. Hey guys, it's me, Legend. Wait for it, Daryl. And if you wonder, that's right. We're starting this vlog like I always do with me absolutely tired. But today it's a special adventure. It's not going to be a one quick little vlog. No, this vlog is going to take place over a series of days. Why? Because we're going to help do Japan World Heroes. And it's my first time coming back since 2017. So um, I'm going to put some clothes on. I'm going to drop the woman off at work. Say hi, woman. No. And then she's great. And then um, I'm going to drive 90 minutes out to Scott's house to start setting up for Japan World Heroes. It's going to be a very long weekend and shockingly a Russell free one. So here we go. Okay, I have officially dropped her off at her movie theater job. Now it's off to drive 90 minutes to Victorville. And I actually really do like Victorville. Um, Fun fact about this shirt, I actually won this shirt at San Diego Comic-Con 2017. Same year we had the very first Japan World Heroes when I took on JC David Frank in an epic battle of proportions in Power Rangers Legacy Wars. But enough legendary trivia, let's go on the road! And here we are in the factory in good old super hot Victorville. It was raining last night. All right, it's a beautiful day out in Victorville. We've been packing for the last couple of hours. Living proof that it is not easy doing this. Convention setting up is a young person's game. And my knees are done. I know I'm a professional wrestler and I'm just not feeling it with these knees. But yeah, we have practically have everything packed up, getting ready for the show. Apparently, to also tomorrow is day zero for setup, which means I have to drive all the way out to Burbank. Okay, officially dropped the missus off at work today. She works in a movie theater. And now we're going to begin day two of Japan World Heroes. What do you mean by day two? Well, technically it's day zero. They're not opening the con today, but it's day two of setup for Japan World Heroes. So I'm gonna go drop off my laptop at the laptop shop because it shorted out randomly yesterday while I was helping out a client. So if this vlog debuts a little late, it's because they didn't have my laptop. But yes, we're going to go ahead. We're gonna drop my laptop off at the laptop shop, then drive all the way down to Burbank because I hate Burbank with a passion and get ready to set up or continuing setting up Japan World Heroes. Okay, laptop situation was not nearly as bad as I thought it was, so vlog should be coming out right on time. Monday's here we're open for. Now we're off to Burb to drive to Burbank safely, I might add. Maybe probably gonna get gas first, and then off to set up Japan World Heroes Day 2. Getting gas real quick. Got a banana and a Celsius because I'm expecting a very long day today. A good nutritious banana can go a long way, guys. Always remember that. All right, we are at the Marriott Convention Center, not the Pasadena Convention Center for Japan World Heroes setup. I've got here A-OK. -okay. Let's get into this hall and see what is up. Also, I can't see if anyone else I know is here, so we're gonna find out. All right, unloading all this onto that. Look at how form and Tetris that is. That's Ford, say hi Ford. Hi. Okay. That's Kevin, he's a translator. What's up? All right, yeah, so we're gonna unload all this onto that for the convention. Five trips later, and we have emptied this bad boy out. Yeah, and we're going back to the hall. Check it, yo. Legend, wait for it. Daryl, this is how you know I'm official, because only official people get the cool badges like this. All right, I'm gonna start booth setup now. Um, there's Scott lifting stuff. He never lifts anything. Okay, so we're gonna get to it. Remember. Official, legend, wait for it, Daryl, Japan World Hero Badges. So I'm randomly working the convention hall and then look who I see, cause I know he's in the neighborhood, but apparently he was already here, it's David. I live here, Yeah, if you, shocking. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, David's like in a lot of my videos and stuff like that, I couldn't do anything without him. He's Agent Dan and a bunch of other body stuff roles. So I mean, we're actually when we get back onto that, that, that this is David, so yeah. Japan World Heroes, it's good luck. If anytime you see David, it's always good luck. Yeah, dude. And then, 
This, this, this is where the magic happens. This, this is before the madness. This is before while everyone is setting up and getting ready. No one is coming in the hall, by the way. It's just vendors are just setting up a day early. This is like day negative zero. And after two hours and 30 minutes later, I have successfully put up the booth. That's right, all that truck is what you see over here, all nice and shiny and organized. Check out our pens. Check out our nice looking pens. So yeah, that's pretty much the ideal template for the booth. I am 90% sure that when Ricky comes in tomorrow, that's one of Scott's associates, he's gonna redo everything, but that's fine because I put my heart and soul into it and this booth is looking fine and I am proud of it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much set up for day zero, guys. All right, so day zero setup is officially done. I'm uh, Apparently there was an issue with my room. I'm probably not gonna have a hotel to stay over here tonight, which is fine. I have a bunch of things to kind of want to bring to the con tomorrow. So um, I got a little haul here, I got a bunch of little Ranger keys and a shirt, like, and I love Ranger keys. I, I, like, I'm like. i probably gonna do a like, show you guys what kind of mean by Ranger keys later. But um, yeah, uh, day zero is officially done. Yesterday was day negative one because we had to go all the way to Hesperia and set everything up. Um, convention four is basically set up. Uh, tomorrow is where the fun begins. Um, so uh, I'm gonna drive back um, and I will follow up with you guys tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna follow you guys over tomorrow, sorry. Hey guys, okay, so now it's officially day one of Japan World Heroes, and I'm in my apartment, and before we head out to the convention center, we're gonna get our gains on. And by gains on, I mean working out at the gym for about 90 minutes to two hours. Right, babe? Mm. Right, babe? Mm. She's gonna do something she's never done before, and I'm super excited for her for Japan World Heroes. Right, babe? Yeah, so let's get ready and go to the gym. Also, we need to pack some stuff first. And then we're gonna go to the gym. Okay, we have officially arrived to Japan World Heroes. Black lipstick, wow. Uh, we are officially here at the convention hall. We got here nice and safe. I'm sorry I didn't post anything. I didn't record anything on the freeway because no one needs to see California freeway more than once. Um, we're gonna walk around, find Scott, and see what else we can do with the booth. Hey, what's up? Right. And uh, if you happen to... Yeah, so the one thing that I was not expecting to find at a Tokusatsu convention. Hey, that's, that's what I try to bring. And I've been looking for this forever. The last few times I've done like Robo Toy Fest and shit like that, I brought like vintage Star Wars Leo Prime. And Yo, are, like... I got, finally got my hands on a Leo Prime. Thank you, Ricky, I appreciate you. That. All right, so Rob, who has this amazing, fantastic, I'm pretty sure he got this from like the Yakuza stuff from, <laughs> from his booth. And then what is this you're giving me? It's a poster? It's the poster from the anniversary uh, Fubi set. Merci beaucoup, monsieur. Oh, I'm sorry, domo arigato. <laughs> yeah, you got some good stuff this year. No more. So, you're outside real quick um, from the convention hall because my translator, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Hey, what's up? He 3D printed this. He does a lot of the 3D printing for my props. And this is for the... Um, Ultra, right? Yeah. Ultra for Ultra Fire Red Ranger. I um I have the bodysuit. I never had the cosplay made. So this looks great. So um if y'all ever need good uh, props made or uh, anything oh. 3D printed, Kevin Zhang, who's also a Japanese translator, is the guy to go to. Hey, thank you. Yes. Oh yeah, check out the Buster Swords. As well. And then he also made the Buster Swords. So like these are from Final Fantasy. But anyway, these are my cars gonna be fun. But yeah, he made these. So like he's like the, just a master of all kind of prop making if you guys ever need a guy to make those kind of props. So rolling around the con and I come across my first cosplayer, a big YouTube cosplayer too, by the way. Uh, what's your what's your username again? Uh, K Rider Ichigo 1971. And he has like the best masked writer cosplay I've ever seen. And he's his style is way um, more vintage than mine, which I do appreciate. Like I love his um filming vintage style so tell me you made this 
Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, explain, explain. Uh, so yeah, this is actually my first Sentai cosplay. Since mostly, I mostly do a Kamen Rider cosplay, so yeah, this is actually a, a new experience for me to do a Ranger cosplay. Of course, me doing like first generation kind of heroes, I decided to do Go Ranger as my first Ranger cosplay. And it's just spam. So this is your first Ranger cosplay, period? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Basically, yeah. And he has an afro under that head, by the way, guys. Like, he has, like, a little mini fro. Oh, wow. You don't got to show to take off the head, but I'm saying, like, I've, I've seen it, and it looks good. So he looks pristine right now. Can the, can you put the helmet on right now, or is it going to take a second? Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Back up. Give us a pose. Glorious. And that is how I want you posing later today. She's so excited. She's wearing her first Ranger cosplay. So, okay. And then can you talk normally in that? Uh, uh, not. Uh, maybe maybe I, I can talk cute here in this helmet. Okay. Of it. And yep. where can people find all your YouTube and cosplay stuff? Uh, just type uh, K Rider Ichigo 1971. Uh, yeah, you can find me on YouTube, TikTok, and what else? Instagram. Yeah. You can find me on those places. I'm mostly active on those. And I'm going to go ahead and tag all of his stuff in the video below. His stuff is really great, guys. Please give him a check it out. Yeah, go check it out. Some cool stuff. We got a photo op area. We're starting to slowly let people inside. Scott's being Scott. Yeah, Japan World Heroes. Here uh, we go. Uh, starting next week. Yeah, so people, people are lining up. I'm, they're, they're all excited. They're all happy to go. Look at the happy con goers. We are getting ready to get our cosplay on. Ooh, look, damn girl, I can't, you're hot. All right, we're getting ready to put on our cosplays um, because this is the only time I'm gonna be cosplaying this weekend. I, I was gonna wear Kamen Rider Drive, but I'm, I'm not feeling it anymore. So we're gonna go change, take a couple of awesome photos and then change out and then um, I'm gonna be at the booth the whole day. From Jetman. Jetman. And we are fully cosplayed up. Look at us, we're adorable. We're gonna go downstairs, take some pictures with the crowd. She's only with me on Friday, so I'm like, couples cosplay. That, and I'm amazingly surprised how well she fits to do. So, um, I'm amazed. I just pressed the elevator button with my feet. So yeah, she looks really good. Like she fits the suit perfectly. So um, she looks good. Baby, please, please don't bang the helmet against the wall again. Yeah, like it happens. Okay, we're gonna go downstairs take some awesome photos. It's really awkward. You're doing a really good boss walk though. Mmm. All right, we are 100% all decked out. We are rolling around the con because yeah. people keep asking to take pictures of us, her specifically, because she's a girl and people only like girl cosplayers. No one cares about the guy cosplayers. She's already becoming the stereotype. But yes, we are walking around and enjoying the con. It is a good day one officially for Japan World Heroes. I was just like, So uh, officially did a bunch of cute little cosplay photos with uh, Perla. Um, we're gonna go ahead and change out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and work at the booth for the remainder of the day today. And um, we're just gonna have a good time with Con. Hopefully I get to do my photo with Kamen or Guy, but I just have no idea what I'm wearing with him yet. Um, but yeah, it was really cute cosplay photos here. Look at, isn't she adorable? Yeah, so I'm um, really excited. I hope you guys are having a great time. And I hope, um, you know, yeah, it's a really fun first day, number one. I hope I don't do everything in one day because I'm gonna run out of content really fast, which is how come I barely wanna do come on Sunday. But um, Scott needs to help, so what Scott says goes. Shirt too. Oh, look at it. I was like, oh, it. <laughs> she finally found a booth of stuff that she likes because it's all hoary. Owned by Mark Richardson, the famous problem master from Power Rangers. But yes, yeah, she's like having a ball with Halloween and the rings. Look at her in her natural horary element. 
because she does not care about tokuzatsu or power rangers at all So here is my special little section of the booth with my uh, Bandai Premium wear that I'm probably never going to wear again. This here is specifically across the booth of Go Andre Red so that way he can see it and then I'll take my little photos of it. The guests are starting to arrive. Scott's getting all nice and ready for the convention. The con is coming out beautifully. We're good to go. Cole, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Perla, are you ready? Sure. Ricky, are you ready? Born ready. Thank you. Everyone is getting ready. Japan World Heroes is about to crack a lack in. Okay. The guests are showing up. <laughs> That's the alternate actor. The guy actor. Where's the go on drill? Oh, well, it's coming great. It's coming great. I'm going to show you guys it's going. Uh, thank you so much for coming out. Come over right It's right, I took five. All right, so I brought my jackets today for display and I had no intention of selling them, but people keep asking to buy them. And I said, you know what, screw it, I'm gonna make an outrageous price and if people can meet my outrageous prices, I will sell it to them. This gentleman, what's his name? Met my outrageous price and he bought my Dino Charge Brave jacket. So that is where I'm at. I can no longer be a K-pop dinosaur anymore, but he's gonna leave happy today. That's right, Red Go Under is at my booth buying stuff. Look at him shop. <laughs> like he's one of I, I, us. I, I, I he's also remarkably tall. I think he's taller than me. I've, I, I would never would have seen that coming. All right, so I'm back at home again. Um, one, because I had to drop Perla off at home because she works tomorrow, I don't, and I want to spend time with her. Um, so I just find I wanted to close up with you guys real quick. <laughs> um, this is my haul today. Um, my friend Rob gave me this really cool uh, poster. Uh, Ricky hooked me up with this um, Jetman vinyl, which if you guys don't know, I love Jetman. Uh, by today's pictures, I actually love Jetman. And I got a brand new Jet Blaster, so, you know, more Jet Ranger episodes will eventually come. And I got a lot of Optimus Prime stuff today. Uh, I got an Optimus Primal, I got a Leo Prime, and then I got a adorable little Optimus uh, Prime figure. He's tiny, but I like him, so they're going to go great with my um, Optimus Prime Shrine. And then, remember my 3D printed helmet? Well, I made the mistake of leaving it in the car, and it melted because it's 3D printed, and it warped really badly. So it's no longer an oval shape. I don't even think I can wear this anymore. I may need to get a new one made. Um, I have some ideas on how to fix the warping, but um, that's a story for a different day. Um, but yeah, 
that's pretty much it for day one official of Japan World Heroes. Um, I'm going to go ahead uh, and rest up, and then we're going to go along, and I will show you day two of Japan World Heroes, a part of the vlog. Uh, hey, guys. All right, we are officially on day three, and I decided to look marvelous today. I'm um, going to go ahead and get some gas real quick, and then I'm going to go and drive to the convention. Also, I came up with a way to maybe save the Ultra Ranger helmet. We don't know yet. Also, uh, the lighting makes me look very tired. Um, see, not so tired. Not so tired. Like I said, just I, I woke up a little late. So now I got to drive all the way back to Burbank um, to go start the con. And uh, we'll go from there. I may also rock a special niche cosplay today. We will see how that goes. Um, but I'm looking forward to the convention today. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Let's go. All right, after some Los Angeles traffic, we are here at the convention. People are already lined up. I'm gonna go ahead, uh, drop some stuff off at my booth, and we're gonna go ahead and have a great merry old day two of Japan World Heroes. And of course, it wouldn't be a legendary vlog if Jason and Sabrina didn't somehow make a random appearance in there. Space hey guys. Takers. <laughs> yes. um, it's funny because I've bought more Transformer stuff at this convention. I have Tokuzatsu, so it's hilarious. I may have a little Godzilla costume hiding and waiting to come on out. And I ho cannot wait to film and record that. Oh, so yes, I'm, I'm just here giving them badges and stuff like that so they can go along and enjoy the show. So these are like the demo. Oh. So, you know, like, uh, this is my business. Oh, you guys have a booth? So I'm rolling around um, right before the hall opens just to discover that a fellow Long Beachian makes the nicest 3D printed helmets I've ever seen before. And now I can finally rebuy and build my Dino Thunder Red. But uh, tell me about your booth. So I'm, uh, I run Rangers of the Grid. We're um, trying to do what the 501st did to Star Wars for Power Rangers. Uh, Super Sentai, Kalen Rider, pretty much any Tokusatsu. I want to be able to like go to cons and take over like a fountain somewhere and have a, just a giant photo shoot. But as you can see, I do 3D printing here, right? I make helmets and I make props to help out uh, fellow rangers and other Sentai to help uh, complete their cosplays. These are some of the ones that I've had for a while, but the ones I give out are a lot nicer because these are a little used and abused from shows. And where can people find all your information to uh, order and commissions? Fiery underscore red underscore cosplay on TikTok, Instagram, as well as Rangers of the Grid on Facebook. I'm the admin there, so if you need something, please give me a call. Hit me up. <laughs> and there you have it. I'm actually going to be ordering Red Donald Thunder from him probably today, hopefully. All right. Ah, it's Godzilla! Huh? No, I have not seen Spencer. Actually, due to copyright infringement, it is not Godzilla. Still, we should run like it's Godzilla! Look at that line for these Japanese actors. Godzilla is there too. Look at this glorious, glorious line to meet all these fantastic Tokusatsu actors who flew all the way from Japan just to meet these fantastic fans. Scott going, do, being his classic Scott self and selling his amazing vinyls. No, he comes up through the head. Oh, yeah, yeah. And there's like a build, there's a cardboard building that you can grab his chest off. So like, it's like kind of like crushing a building. Okay, so you repeat that, that's a first try? That's a first try. All uh, EV foam. But of course this part's only because of the glue. Right. This is an amazing onk. The metals are a nice touch. Now, are you just holding them together or did you magnet or glue them up? Um, it's glued, belt curl, and a couple of magnet pieces. Okay. You guys didn't know I love O's, so when I see something like this, this is fantastic. Wow, thank you. I wonder what this huge, ginormous line is for. Oh my gosh, look at all these Tokuzatsu fans. for uh, Yasuhisa Furuhara. I 
messing with us? Is he really here? Yes, he's really here. Yes. All right, so uh, let's start off with basic. All right, I went to go change because I'm seeing so many writers here. So now I'm Spider Rider at Japan World Heroes. Spider-Man? Exactly, Spider Rider. Action. Something, something hit you. All right. We actually got fed today. We got subs, meatball subs. I don't know what Rob got. I don't know what Ricky got. All I know is Ricky's hungry. So yeah, we got food today. Yay. Okay, so I'm walking around, trying to return to my booth, a little tired, rocking my, rocking my Celsius, I'm tired, and then lo and behold, but the biggest, largest, over the top, Samurai Red cosplay I've ever seen. <laughs> like this, for me, it, it, it's a little too big, a little, you know, unnecessary. Maybe I'm compensating for something, I don't know. Yeah, see, I'm more about the personality that counts, <laughs> you know. It's more about the size and how you use it. Of course, of but, course. But uh, explain this. How did you do this? This is all a commission, actually, from a friend who used to work as a like, as a yeah, as a prop maker. And so he just did this out of EVA foam and PVC pipe. Shout out to my boy Julio. If you're out there watching this, I'll link it to you. Okay. And then what's your name? My name. My name is Jeff. Your name is Jeff. What my is name. Yeah. What is your? How do people find you? I'm on Jeffersaurus on Instagram. J E F F E R S A W R U S. Yeah. Okay, and this is a fantastic Samurai Red cosplay. Thank you so much. Boss. I, I, I had the shark attack mode yeah. um, from back in the day. Yeah, I had shark attack. Uh, the with red the armor? The, with the red cloak. Oh, oh, it's actually in my car. Whoa. So my good deed of the day, back in the day, if you guys don't remember, I'll throw some pictures. I used to have the Shark Attack mode um, cosplay. Um, I shipped it out to a friend, but it never uh, it got sent back to me. So I don't know if it's in the wrong address or if he just didn't want it anymore. Check back on you in a while, Kevin, on that. Um, but yes, this is um, Yev. Like I said, he had the giant samurai thing. And I was like, you know what? Okay. I don't need the cloak anymore and I don't have the sword. So this is now his. It's his Shark Attack mode. It's um, mine, mine. It's yours. Keep it. I'll, I'll need it. <laughs> so this is it. This is his to keep forever now. He looks really good in it. Um, Dude. I think he looks really good in it. Dude, thank you so much. I can be a Gokaiger now with a collar. He is super samurai red. Okay, he's super He's Hyper. super shark attack. Super mode. shark. He's super shark attack mode samurai red. Okay, I don't know what this shin changer is thingy <laughs> that these kids are all about. Hyper <laughs> so yes, his day two of Japan World Heroes has been great. Um, I will tag his Instagram. How's your, How's your day been? It's been fantastic. I will go ahead and tag his Instagram and stuff so you guys can follow him because he's buff. He's got a really big sword if you didn't see earlier. And he's probably someone you want to follow around. Okay. Just to let you know. So that way someone's going home with something. First place, you're going to get tickets to Power Morphicon. Second place, you got some cool stuff, some cool swag. Third place, we made sure you got some swag. Other than that, we have three ribbons for Judge's Choice. This is so, the... This judge will select one person that they like after they found the first, second, third. This was... The Nerd Mafia Cosplay Contest hosted by... What's your name? Nicholas. Nicholas. Okay, make sure that you follow him on Nerd Mafia for all their other fun and fantastic events like their amazing cosplay contest. Right, Nick? Correct. Okay. Okay. www.facebook backslash Nerd Mafia group. Love you, Nick. All right. So, if you guys don't know, I'm a big uh, fan and collector of like props and scripts and stuff like that. And one of my favorite people in all of uh, the Power Rangers that I've ever met is not an actor, um, but one of the prop makers, Mr. Mark Richardson. And Mark has, well, you're like the prop master, right? You've like made all this stuff from like Mighty Power Rangers? Yeah, for the first 10 years on the prop master. Okay, so. Um, you've also done stuff like uh, Terminator Sarah Connor Chronicles. Um, what else have you done? Um, uh, I started off at Troma doing Class of Newcomb High 2, 3. Worked for Roger Corman. Did everything Power Rangers, everything Saban, Beetleborgs. Uh, with TJ over there. Storm uh, did. Uh, Dead listening. PR Troopers. Um, Piranha 3D, I was the onset for Rob Zombie's uh, Halloween. I did Devil's Pre did the shootout for Devil's Rejects. Um, I just done a ton of, I, I currently was on 
uh, Lucifer, finish that up, Dead to Me. Um, right before the strike, I was doing The Old Man with John Lithgow and Jeff Bridges. Okay, so you mentioned the strike. I wanted to ask you about it, because I remember a few years ago, you told us a story when you were on Power Rangers. When you guys were trying to union out, you almost went on strike. What can you tell me about that? Yeah, we were trying to get to turn union back in the day, and uh, we were doing Turbo the movie, and I was <clears throat> working on my truck, and a friend of mine who works with me every once in a while, named Nikki Jovakini, comes on, and I go, what are you doing here? He goes, I'm you, and I go, what do you mean you're me? He goes, there's a crew around the corner waiting for you guys to strike and walk off and they're gonna take over. I'm like, really? And um, Jonathan Zakor, the producer, had got an entire crew waiting for us to quit. And they were on pay, they were being, I think they're getting paid for that day. And I remember, nobody quit we did a, we you know we did the whole show in fact we never walked away from anything um, and how we did turn is Haim Saban had the president of the United States at his house I called my union rep and said we need to get the word out that Haim has a non-union show in California we turned two weeks later because Haim didn't want to be bad mouth for to but by the to, from you know to when he's working with the president but that's how we went union but I remember that day that we, they had the crew at the when we're leaving we're packing up and Jonathan who was a great guy I love Jonathan he, he just they wanted to make more money and, you know but um, he comes up to me and uh, and it was a disastrous day as far as film crew they were trying to take they had these little rafts and we we're trying to get it out onto the boat it was like a pirate ship and uh, the boats were getting flipped over we lost camera equipment um, off the dock it was just a disastrous the day and Jonathan goes to me, he goes, hey, why don't you think the union, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> why don't you think the union came? And I was like, they were probably watching this and said, they didn't want us in the union. <laughs> but uh, that was uh, that was our Power Ranger Union Day. And this was Turbo? That was Turbo, the movie. Oh, so this happened, yeah, so they couldn't afford to lose the great Mark Richardson. Weren't you in that? Weren't you in Power Rangers Turbo, technically? I was uh, Lord Zed. When when Rita is in bed and I'm next to her snoring, rocking back and forth, and she's talking to Diva Talks and says, you know, uh, this is what I put up with. And she puts the phone over to me and I, all I had to do was rock back and forth, but I was in, the suit was made for a guy named Ed Neal, who's a stunt guy who does, you know, flips and over explosions. All I had to do was be in his suit and rock back and forth. And I remember I was scared to death because it's like being wrapped in an Ed Neal burrito. And, uh, but I couldn't back out because, you know, you have these stunt guys to do all these wonderful things. And all I had to do was lay there. So I did it. And I get to say I was Lord Zed in Turbo. Yeah. Were you in any other things of Power Rangers that we might have seen? Yes. Such as? Um, I was the cab driver in Amy Jo Johnson's last episode that the cab turns into a mother. I think it was called Krabby Cabby. I was the voice of Serpicon in Time Force. I was the werewolf in uh, It Came From Angel Grove. And I talked him into doing it in black and white and doing it at night. And uh, I played various roles um, as far as just background people every once in a while. But those, I think, are my strongest characters that I played on, at, on the time. Thank you. Um, so, and you were also, you did a lot of Sarah Con I have a fond memories of Terminator, Sarah, Terminator Sarah Connor Chronicles. Do you have any fun or fantastic stories you got from that? Well, that was during the last rider strike. And uh, we pretty much lost a lot of the funding by the end. It started off movie quality, but by the end of the show, they just didn't have the funds to do the explosions, the fully automatic weapons. In fact, I snuck into the writer's room and put less talk, more guns. It literally turned into, you know, every day just killing Terminators to, to Sarah Connor sitting at a coffee shop going, maybe we should kill Terminator. It got that boring. And Lena, she wanted out of, she, by that time she wanted gone, she wanted to leave the show, so she was happy to leave. I worked with her afterwards. She was going to do, she wanted to direct comedy shorts. I was helping her out. But uh, I think it was two weeks into that, she got the phone call for Game of Thrones and she was gone. She's a great actress, so I love her. Who doesn't? All right. Well, thank you, Mark. That's 
Yeah. As I said, hold on one second. So yeah, thank you, Mark. Um, guys, like I said, um, I have this really cool case full of like the prop points that I bought from Mark um, during the pandemic. He hooked me up with a bunch of scripts and stuff too. Like Mark helped make the pandemic much more tolerable for me. Um, when I was going through it a few years ago, he was one of the few people who checked on me once I got out of the hospital. Um, like Mark is one of the best people in this business I've ever met before, and. He has the best stories, especially when like it comes to horror stuff, well beyond Power Rangers. Like Mark is more than just a one topic dude. And I'm honored that he was able to take the time to let me interview him, stuff like that. So please follow us, Horror Con. Horror Icon, it's H-O-R-R-O-R-I-C-A-N-A. -R -R so make sure you follow that page over on Facebook. He's got the best stuff. And um, yeah, once again, thanks again, Mark. I shake your hand, but I got something. Yeah, we can do a little fist bump. Yeah. So far, the only thing I've bought for me today at this con is more Transformers. That's right, I've bought more Transformers toys at this Tokuzatsu Super Sentai Power Ranger Kamen Rider Ultraman event. I've only bought Optimus Prime stuff. My priorities are out of whack this year, but I, uh, I'm super excited because I bought this for a steal in box. And guess what, guys? When I get home, I'm ripping it out of the box, putting it on display, and throwing the box away because that's the kind of horrible person that I am. And huge thanks to Rangers of the Grid for restoring and give, hooking me up with this awesome 3D printed red Dino Thunder Power Ranger helmet. It's my favorite season if you guys didn't know. So I'm going to go ahead and recreate this. Look how good this is. This is 3D printed. Also, I found out the hard way. He's in Long Beach. So I'm going to be doing a <laughs> lot more business with them, which means, that's right, more Ranger videos will be coming back, guys. <laughs> Damn way. Yeah, but thank you. This, this is awesome. Oh, no, I'm happy. And... If this fails on you, I'll get you a new one. You heard it from here, for free. He said he'd give me a new one for free. So look forward to that one, guys. The VIP dinner. Non alcoholic, but to a fantastic Japan World Heroes. Come by. Oh, yeah, come by. So apparently, this fun and amazing, fantastic fandom, being who they are, help themselves to double portions, but lo and behold, there's more. They brought us more chicken. We got VIP dinner. We're big deals. Okay, we are the best of this team. I got Kate Meatloaf. I'm so excited for this meatloaf. But I only met her for a brief I got meatloaf. Are you filming yourself eating meatloaf? Yes. So as you guys can see, this is my haul for Japan World Heroes Day 2. I once again bought more non-toku stuff. That's right, I bought another Optimus Prime, a uh, Snake Eyes and Sword from G.I. Joe. I did get a brand new helmet though, a brand new 3D printed helmet. And um, these giant fin rear swords from Final Fantasy VII. So that is my haul for today. Um, yes, I am back home. I am not in a hotel room for Japan World Heroes. Um, Something came up which required me to come back home. So yes, I had to drive back and forth all three, technically four days for Japan World Heroes, but it's fine. Um, sometimes you just have to roll with the punches. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna turn in for tonight and, and go drive back in tomorrow for the final day of Japan World Heroes. Um, I hope you're enjoying the vlog thus far. And yeah, this is probably gonna be the longest, most interesting vlog I've ever done before. I just now realized it. The VIP dinner was fun too, by the way. But yeah, I'm gonna close up day two and tomorrow, or in a few minutes for you guys, depending where you're at watching this vlog, we're gonna go see the third and final day of Japan World Heroes. And it is now time for day 
three, the final day of Japan World Heroes. And it's raining outside. I don't know if you guys know this, but there's supposed to be a hurricane coming. Um, I'm Californian, and if you don't know how this California roll when it comes to storms and hurricanes, we typically don't care. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna close up my storage unit real quick, and then I'm gonna put gas in my car, and then I'm a good day. Mm. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start driving out to Japan World Heroes for the final day. I'm not expecting a major crowd, but um, we still gotta do teardown, and I'm just, I'm hoping for a good day today. That's, that's all anyone can ever hope for is a good final day for a convention. I almost died. Yeah, so um, when I was going on the freeway, I almost swerved. Um, I think we kind of might have maybe underestimated the hurricane just a little bit. I did get to the convention center safely, else I wouldn't be recording this. So um, hopefully this doesn't affect the traffic too much um, in terms of people attending the convention today. But yeah, it was kind of hectic getting here. I'm just hoping everyone gets here nice and safe. But yeah, it, I almost died. And now I'm going to drive a little bit safer on the freeway. And yeah, I'm just hoping for a decent sized final day for the convention. Mm -hmm. It's pouring outside, but Scott gave me his emergency muffin. Rob, what do you think of the weather today? It's a no spring go, it's all right. See, Rob does not care about the weather at all. I, on the other hand, almost swerved and died, so I care a little bit. And ladies and gentlemen, I am here with Easy Rider, a friend of mine I've known for years, who is big deal on Twitter and has a fun blog. How is the comment been piece of fun? Oh, great, great, great. Love being here in Cali. Every time I can make it, I, I come. Okay, and then what brought you to Japan World Heroes today? Well, meeting, uh, uh, getting the rare opportunity to meet uh, the Japanese actors who come over here and are so humble and so nice. They're just so down to earth. It's just, it's crazy how nice they are. And will you be at Ranger Stop this year? Definitely. Okay, that is actually where we met. Me, I had met him and his friend Maddie, who is an esteemed wrestling fan, something I talk to all the time, who's actually been, you know, following my wrestling career. So I appreciate you, Maddie, wherever you are. Okay, and then uh, one Speaking last- Speaking of which, uh, Maddie said he loved the match with Mike Lucas. Thank you, because yeah. man, my, if, if you guys follow Mike Yoshi, he's on Twitter. Uh, I mean, he's on TikTok, very big deal. Um, on that note, one final question, because we're talking about wrestling. Um, who's your favorite wrestler and why is it CM Punk? <laughs> That's a funny way to say Orange Cassidy. <laughs> okay, and that is where we're gonna go, guys. Yeah, like I said, the final day of the con, so everyone is just, you know, trying to enjoy themselves for one final day. All right, and you enjoyed the panels? Oh yeah, great. Got them all. Uh, you can watch them on my YouTube channel. Which is where one. exactly? It's a uh, uh, Toku Time on YouTube. Not the dis Disco Tech one. They stole it. It's Toku Time on YouTube. You can't miss it. All right, and we're gonna go along and enjoy the rest of the con. Later, guys. So we have light traffic in the con. It's not nearly as bad as it looks. Just some people are nervous because of the rain. But um, this has been the final day of. Japan World Heroes. So explain exactly what we're doing. So we're gonna heat this thing up right here and make it nice and pliable again. We're gonna beef this thing up to be the actual size of a human head. That's what the bubble wrap is yeah. for. Yeah, and we're gonna put some tape around it just to make it a little bit bigger. But we're essentially gonna try and reshape this to the new shape, make it round. We're gonna try to save this 3D printed helmet. Japan World Heroes is not gonna go down like this. Yeah. Ugh. Bleeding. What can you do? <laughs> so we have to make it about the size of my head because I have a very big head. So that's what the bubble wrap is for. It's going to hopefully help form it. Yeah. We just need it to be able to take the shape of it so that when it starts to cool down, it maintains a wider shape. All right. Yeah, good. In the air. Let's put some on here. Don't want it. All right, my love, when I hand this to you, keep it up because you can't put this thing down. Right? He's, he's a big, muscly man. See, look at so he's already got it warped. He's like, he's slowly forming it back to the way it was. I, 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 I have faith. I think I think he's gonna save this helmet. So we're just gonna we have to actually hold it like this right here. Yeah. And wait for it to cool down. Wait for it to cool down, and then we can heat this up and pop it out because it's gonna be easier me doing it with my hands. Oh, it's already a lot better. <laughs> Hi, every man. Uh, we're gonna Just have to, to keep the chin flat. 
Oh no, I'm gonna have to push this up first, then heat it up. Because if you put it against the table, it's gonna press into it. Like there's nothing holding on the opposite side of it. So, all right. I'm gonna just do a video just on this. Like this is going in the vlog. This is going in the vlog, but like this is just the extensiveness of this. So the entire like like it, it's manageable again. Like he's he's done it. Master yeah. at work here. Now he's gotta fix it back. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's what I need to fix, because it's still warping. Okay. We go again. So heat it up over here, we're gonna reintroduce it to the top of the head over here. Uh, heat it up from the other side. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so show me how you... Okay, so look at... This was super warped earlier. Look at what he's done. It's practically 100% complete again. Like, this is better. This is immensely wearable, so... Yeah, it's wearable. And then it needs a few more repairs. Like, a crack developed here. But... If you have a soldering iron, you could just uh, gently put it across there and it should melt it together. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. You see, it's starting to pick up again. Traffic is good. We are good. We are a-okay. People are really starting to trickle in, like... This storm did not deter people from showing up. Like, it's starting to bustle a little bit. It's starting to bustle. Oh, there we go. So, David and Michelle are here. You guys know who David is. He was here earlier on day zero. This is, wife, <laughs> this is his wife, Michelle. He'd be lost without her. She's literally just everything. They are here. They're going to go ahead and explore the con. If I have only bought nothing but Transformers here, so he's going to he's gonna feel at home today. Good. Doing my own final walk around of the convention. I got David here with me. I'm here. Right. Yeah, so we're going to go walk around. I want to see if there are any more non-Tokuzatsu things I can buy at the con. Um, we're going to see what's up. These guys I've had the best luck with. I've only bought in non-transform. I've only bought in trans non-powered transformers items, and they have Gundams. They just brought Gundams. They did not have these Gundams here yesterday. Are you ever gonna watch any Gundam except Gundam Wing, or are you just gonna live in that? I've watched G. I've watched G Gundam and 80th MST multiple times. Okay. Well, watch Zeta, bro. How about the original I cannot believe I found this. This is, if you guys know, I love Jetman and everything like that. And these guys, you know, they're pretty spot on about it. You're in my vlog now. I hope you oh, put, yeah. appreciate it. But yeah, so this is fantastic. I'm, I'm just afraid I'm probably gonna end up opening it from the box. But like, it's so cool looking. Okay. It's like a Robeson version of Godzilla. Just look at that sexy, sexy skeleton. I was curious what exactly that is. It's an RC controlled Godzilla. Kind of like those robots in um, Optimus Primes that are all the rage right now, the, the giant automatic ones. He's leaving. Did you guys get everything your heart desired? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. So, and they drove all the way, far I'm away. Perfect. From Burbank, they live in Burbank, so they did no. Like, it was eight minutes. Terrible. They did no work to get here, and they're so excited that the cons are gonna slowly migrate over here oh, now. Wait, look at it, look at and she bought one of Scott's puzzle thingy majiggers. So um, yeah, I'm glad you guys had fun, and now they're leaving. Bye guys. So right before he about to leave, the nicest, kindest man, Rob, gave me the Jin Cage Q Rex combo. Appreciate you, Rob. Just for his girlfriend. Just for, <laughs> yes, for her. He doesn't care about me at all. But thank you. This is like a great find. All right. We are toward the very final end of the con. I have been doing teardown all by myself for our booth. We saw some people looking around and stuff like that. But um, all in all, yeah, this, this, this is the end of the con, you guys. I'm tearing down. Um, hopefully the rain dies down just enough so we can get inside the trucks. Else we are in for an adventure today. Uh, I'm kind of waiting for some help to at least bring some more boxes to carry all this stuff in. Luckily, 
when you're working at a convention, it is easier to tear down and put stuff away than it is to set it up and put it in all nice spots. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. It's always easier to destroy than it is to build. You know what I mean? And that is what a boot, our booth looks like torn down. It only took me about an hour or so, which is light speed when you're all by yourself doing it. But um, yeah, I'm just waiting for the dolly and I'm gonna wheel all that inside and then I'm done, I am going home. There's Genta, say hi Genta. They finally opened the big doors. We're just waiting for the dolly. And then we're gonna start loading the truck up. I'm, I'm kind of ready to go home now. So, um, yep. Almost done. We are all Come on, jump chop. Jump chop. And I'm doing this in the rain. And with this, yeah. I have 100% packed this van a lot better than the way we started with it. And with that, Japan World Heroes is officially packed away. All right, everything's all nice and locked up. And with that, Japan World Heroes is officially done and over with. Hello. Us and the entire staff from Japan World Heroes are getting dinner last second. Yeah. <laughs> We're, we're getting Chinese food. Sun and Moon is what this place is called. So, <laughs> great way to close the convention with some food. Cheers, 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 cheers. Cheers, 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 Scott, my man. Yeah. It's done. I love sweet and sour chicken. This is what I got. This is for me. I got sweet and sour chicken for me. Everyone else is enjoying themselves. That's so good. Yes, those are tiny. <laughs> Everyone got forks and cookies. They're all going to have cookies. All things are doing a little more. They're eating. Okay. Here we, here we go. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. You will make a change for the better at Japan World Heroes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is saying goodbye to each other. We all ate our food. We're all leaving and saying goodbye, and I'm going back to my car and I'm going home. <laughs> all right, guys, and here is my haul for my final haul on the last day of Japan World Heroes. Um, yeah, that's right. I actually didn't buy any Transformer stuff today. Um, so my friend, Angry Rob, he was at the booth right next to us. He gave me this. Um, this is from Zincager. It's the Quantum Saurus um, Dragonzord Fusion thingy that I have no information about because I haven't finished Zincager yet. Um, this I actually got at a Transformers premiere um, a few months ago, but I forgot to pick it up. So my friend Jason, who is also in the vlogs, gave that to me. Um, and then I got a bunch of OG Disney Power Rangers um party supply stuff like it's got all the disney from dino thunder uh operation overdrive it was really cool um i don't have enough cups and stuff like this so i'm glad that i finally have it um and as i showed you guys earlier i had my help uh my omega ranger helmet um fixed by the prop maker who's also from long beach we put it back to normal so now i can wear it a full functioning helmet with a couple of modifications i need to make to it um, I collect these Sentai towels on the reg, um, and I found a Hurricane one, and then it got, of course, if you guys know me, you watch my channel, you know I love birds, so I found some really cool, awesome vintage Jetman stuff, and this little Jetman, um, this little Jetman figure, and of course, this really cool, awesome, combining single Jetman, uh, Jetman Megazord. It's got both the Great Garuda and the Icarus. So I may actually open the box for this because apparently this is just a smaller version of the combining Megazords. 
and that guys is my final haul for japan world heroes um on the last day of japan world heroes yes i said japan world heroes a bunch of times i'm tired bite me um anyways that's it uh, we had dinner. Um, I said goodbye to everyone. I got to meet all the actors. Uh, go on red. Really liked my jacket and would not stop wearing it. Um, Perla had a great time. She cosplayed for the first time ever. I got to reconnect with a bunch of friends. And that was Japan World Heroes 2023. And that is the entire vlog. What did you guys think? Um, did I get a little bit too into detail for this convention? Was I not in detail enough? Comment below, let me know. Also, again, you can find me on all forms of social media. Legend Daryl on TikTok, Twitter. What's the last one? The new one? Threads and um, Instagram. Those are my social medias. You're more than welcome to follow me and talk to me on there. I hope you guys are having a super mega and fantastic day. And please stay classy. That was really jumbled up in the end. But yeah, that's the vlog, guys. Hope you're having a great day. Later.